Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, just want to come back a little bit to uh, what we were talking about the um, pro version of Windows 11 that will require a Microsoft account at clean install and that will not be something you will bypass. I get a lot of comments of people saying no you're wrong I did it last month it worked yeah last month did you look at the video I am telling you starting with 22 H2. So the newest build that we have right now in the insiders, the latest build is the first one to implement this. And it is going to be like that moving forward. No, you will not be able to disconnect the cable and have a, a local account access. Microsoft even very clearly stated you'll need the internet to set up Windows 11 Pro. And that is something you won't be able to bypass on a clean install. So if you are on a, um, a local account and you actually upgrade to 22H2, you're going to continue getting your local account. That's not going to change because you have created that account already. It will keep it. it will, you're going to continue having that account the way it is. What I'm saying is if you decide to clean install starting with 22H2 that's coming up later this year, the option for a local account at clean install is not there. You will have to have a Microsoft account in order to continue the setup. And then once you're set up, if you want, you'll be able to create a local account and remove that account if you wish. But you will have to first create one and go through that process before you'll be able to actually create a local account and remove the Microsoft account from Windows 11. The uh, problem, because personally, my my issue with that is uh, doesn't have to do with the Microsoft account because I don't really care. I have one and I'm happy it syncs, uh, synchronizes everything between PCs. I, I like it the way it is. And I do not, you know, I, I don't abide by the p people always saying this. They're snooping, snooping. It has nothing to do with that. It has has to do with the Microsoft services that they want you to synchronize and all the apps in the OneDrive and so on. They want it, simply want you to use their own, um, you know, apps and their own services. That's kind of understandable. Where my rant is more directed is not necessarily towards the fact that you have to use a Microsoft account is more into the if you are somewhere without internet or if your internet access is you know um, the day that you decide you want to do a clean install you for some reason you can't have access to the internet and some people will be in that situation well that means you can't set up Windows which is kind of dumb and that's where my rant mostly goes because the Microsoft account aspect of it I don't really care. And people that come back saying, well, you know, Apple doesn't require that. And Apple does. Your Mac doesn't do half of what it can do if you don't have an Apple ID. And same thing for an iPhone and an iPad. It's like, it's not different. Um, they are not doing anything different than anybody else is doing, um, you know, like Android and so on. Um, it's just that there are a few things that, you know, like I said in my first video, first for a long time that was not required and it's it's something new and I do think even though I don't care about it uh, the fact that you need a Microsoft account I do think you should have a choice that I think everybody should have a choice to, ch to have one or not and choose a local account or a Microsoft account but the biggest problem I think in my rant is really the fact that if you decide to install a new PC and don't have internet access well, you won't be able to do so on a clean install, which is, again, what I think is a little dumb. You know, they should let you go through in some way. As for bypasses, every bypass that right now you had, unplugging cables or even a little command line thing, uh, are, are going to stop working. They're going to stop working at 22H2. That doesn't mean someone somewhere will not find a new way to bypass it. There's always somebody somewhere trying to find ways to bypass it. But here, mostly what I want to say is that it, you know, even if you have a command line to, buy, to bypass it, I 
think here and because the majority of the people here are people that are standard users that don't really know how to deal with going into a command line and changing things around. And so this is why the rant is there. Because if you are an enthusiast and, and look around, of course there's a possibility you might find a way to bypass it. But that's beside the point. The point here that I want on my channel is really to mostly say, well, for most people, we should have no idea how to do that. And that's a big majority of Windows users. Um, you're going to be stuck. And, and you need a Microsoft account. If you don't have one, you'll have to create one. You'll need to you know, have the internet access as you are setting up. Things that I think should not be mandatory. I think you know that should be an optional option. Um, so if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.